I'm Shelby Holiday, and it's time for Barron's Buzz. Joining me with the scoop on the latest issue is senior editor Jack Howe. Jack, Hello. good to see you. Good to be here. So first up, he is better than Buffett. Uh, yeah, and you, not me, by the way. Uh, not you, by the John, way, John, unfortunately. John, but John Malone graces your cover. John Malone, yeah. Liberty Media, his Liberty Media empire has right. bested the returns of Berkshire Hathaway for the past decade. If you had held the original since uh, 2004, yeah, you've done a lot better than Berkshire Hathaway. A lot, a lot better than the broad stock market. And we've got to look at the prospects for his company from here. Now it's split into like a million parts. Right. You're going to need your bears. Five different five, umbrellas, five nine companies, stocks. companies, nine stocks. Some of them are tracking stocks. You will need your Barron's Magazine just to figure out what this guy owns. He's got a stake in QBC. Now there's Formula One, Atlanta Braves, um, uh, TripAdvisor, and on and on. It's true. And, he's all over the place. And to see all your choices for investment, and we examine which might have the better prospects. So mm -hmm. spread out the graphic on the table, pour yourself a glass of brandy, even if it's 8 a.m., it doesn't matter. <laughs> and, and just uh, have pour a over yeah. this Barron's right. uh, issue. All right, well, that sounds interesting. Next up, is healthcare losing its status as a safety sector in the market? This is one of those sectors that you invest in because people are always gonna need healthcare, they're always gonna need medicine, and so you figure it's not economically sensitive, and uh, it's going to be stable, and you get your dividends, and what could go wrong? But right. our columnist points out that you know, um, this past week when we had a big drop for the Dow, healthcare. You know, we thought it had to do with Deutsche Bank and the financial sector. It was actually right. healthcare that got the biggest hit. People are worried. They're worried about um, the backlash against drug pricing, the EpiPen backlash, right. as I like to call it, because I've had to buy about four <laughs> of those suckers. And, you know, <laughs> no, Hil <laughs> Hillary Clinton had something published in the. In the uh, New England Journal of Medicine about healthcare and the you know. But people on both sides of the aisle are now agreeing that yeah. something has to be done to curb costs. So something has to be done. So it's not to say that the whole sector is no longer defensive. It, 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 it's not to say that all of these stocks will fall out of favor for safety conscious investors. But we've got to look at which ones you can still rely upon. Which ones still have those defensive attributes going forward as opposed to ones that really could be more uh, volatile from here. So now you have to do your research. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. And last but not least, when Trump goes down, the peso goes up. We saw that after the debate this week. And you guys have a great story about what's been happening throughout this entire election, not just after this debate. Yeah, it's uh, it's really the Trump indicator. You know, if you're sitting there and you're going on all the sites to look at the day-by-day -day probability that Donald Trump will be our next president, and I know you are, then you could just as easily be watching the peso, huh. right? Because we're seeing that, you know, as, as Trump goes down, the peso goes up. And uh, the, the, there was this sort of relationship earlier in the year, but the relationship has grown really tight lately, and we've got to look at what you can expect from here for the peso, which I guess is what you can expect for the election, right? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, they both, we saw the peso move after his visit to Mexico. Yeah. After the debate, mm -hmm. after some of these comments he's made, so. Comments? It's an indicator. Trump's made the, comments? You know, the I'm, wall and. I'm gonna have to go Trade, that. just a few little details yeah. here and there. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for being here. Thank Cannot you. wait for this issue. You can catch it online and on newsstands. That's it for us. Have a great weekend.